Right. Anywhere it came in today, ugh, didn't take too long. I'm gonna go ahead and do another unboxing. It's the Anywhere M17 R2. This time I went ahead, I figured after everything seemed to work pretty well on the last one, I would go ahead and get the uh, ahead and get the new model with the uh, well I mean exchange it for the i9 2080 RTX um, model so let me see if I can do this one handed or not Sorry, I know this is bad here, but anyway. Looks like FedEx took good care of it. Go ahead and throw all this off to the side. So this is the box here. See, it says uh, Alienware on there. M17 on the side. That's that's it. Let's go ahead and open it up. Ooh. Wow, I hope that captures that because that white actually does look really nice. I got the white one this time. I was like, yeah, I might as well. Let's see what we got here. Alright. Went with the 240 watt power adapter. That's actually pretty slim. I'm shocked. Not much of a difference over the uh, 180 watt. Oh yeah, super light. You wouldn't do that with most laptops, there's no way. So we'll leave that there for a second. Uh, basically the, uh, you know, thank you, uh, service welcome thingy here. Uh, you know, we can get into that later. Uh, never. <laughs> Put that back in there. This is supposed to be right here. Y'all can pause and read that if you feel like. Uh, since 1996, they basically set out to build the ultimate gaming PC, and they've been doing it ever since. They're probably the very first gaming computer company to come out. Uh, I do want to show this off. Um, Obviously this is extremely thin, and I, I, I mean thin by, it is almost exactly as thin as a razor blade. Um, let's take a look here. I went ahead and got Windows Pro this time instead of Home. See here, it does have some, uh, here let me see if I can capture it anyway. Pretty uh, beefy cooling there. I, uh, I looked into the service manuals and come to find out the, uh, 17 actually has a much better cooling system than the M15, so I thought that was cool. So there's the sides for you. I mean, that's the Kensington lock right there, just to put it in perspective of how, how thin this is. It's almost as wide as a headphone jack. So, there's the back. All your ports. Side again. Let's go ahead and open it up. Hopefully this one will have a charge. I know last time uh, it did not have a charge when I tried to turn it on. There is the i9. I got the 9980HK, the unlocked processor, because, uh, you know, I just decided I wasn't much of a price difference between this and the 9980H, uh, so might as well, right? trackpad glass feels good feels really good you can actually see that it's it's glass in the corner there it's actually a piece of glass it looks very high quality oh well, this is the best keyboard I think I've ever used I actually miss it I've been using a MacBook uh, while I waited on this and I gotta tell you it it really sucked using that um, this is very actually low profile um, you know, for a gaming laptop, it really doesn't stand out too much because of this, this nice color. I like this one better than the black, I'm not going to lie. 
this blends in about how much I kind of expected it to. I like that the 17 stands out pretty well. That's always kind of nice. Um, overall, feels fantastic. I'm curious to see how this holds up with stains and stuff. Uh, I usually keep my laptops wiped down, you know, throughout the week, so I don't see me having a problem with it, but you might, I don't know. Uh, screen looks fantastic. It doesn't seem to have any flex or anything, that's good. Hinges look like they're, they're nice and solid. There's the ventilation grill. It does have a, a filter in here that filters uh, dust from getting in there. There's the power button. I like how that blends in with the color. Oh, this keyboard. It's fantastic. So let's go ahead and... Oh yeah, we got power this time. This video is gonna take forever to upload. I did it in 1080p instead of 4K this time because I'm not sure that my 4K uh, is actually, um, what do you want to call it? Uh, uploading in 4K, I think it's just 1080p. Oh, that blue looks amazing with the white. It looks really good. It's actually hard to tell with the alien logo here. Let's see if I can, yeah, it does have the eyes in it. It's hard to tell from camera, but it does fantastic I actually like this color scheme right out of the box and now it's gonna ask me to set up windows so this is probably where I'm gonna let you guys go um, I can tell you from the other one um, speakers sound great on this thing it's very small very light I mean super light I, I mean literally pick up one-handed light so if you're looking for something light, portable, it's very sturdy. Probably the best build design of any laptop out there. Alienware has nailed that market. I mean, this is super solid. Um, you know, there's there's no wobble there. I mean, it best build quality of any laptops I think I've ever purchased. So uh, that's why I stick with them. You know. Um, thermals. We'll get into that in a minute. I don't know how this one's going to hold up. The i7 was great. So I'm, I'm, you know, I have high expectations for this one. I did buy liquid metal. Uh, I also bought the Cryonaut. So worst comes to worst, if the Cryonaut's not better, if this isn't good enough out of the box, then uh, I will go to the liquid metal and uh, I'll be doing a teardown of this and just kind of showing you all um, how that's done and kind of, you know, get your perspective on it and that's that's basically it so this is the unboxing this is the alienware m17 r2 in lunar white with the i9 and 2080 max q i am about to go ahead and get get windows set up on here and then uh as soon as that's finished uh i'll start getting some videos going i'll get my games downloaded i have my m.2 one terabyte storage that i showed in one of my other videos i'm gonna go ahead and uh install that in here uh, probably, uh, you know, within the next video, maybe I'll show you how to, how that's done. I mean, it's, it's incredibly simple. You just take off this, this bottom panel and it sits right there. Take out the screw that they provide you with, drop it in, push it in, screw it down, put the panel back on. You're good to go. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, I'm going to go ahead and start getting this video uploaded for you guys. Um, get this plugged in get the uh, operating system set up and some games installed that way on the next video I can show you some performance numbers um, and then uh, we'll go from there thank you all very much